All right, everybody. We <laughs> we always like to make those inbred Jed jokes. People like to talk about certain states where this kind of stuff happens here. They like to speculate. It's pretty rare, but still, let's... Woman 33 is sentenced to 40 years in prison for murdering her 31-year-old sister's boyfriend in Valentine's Day incest plot set up so the younger woman could marry their father. There's a lot going on here. What does the boyfriend have to do with anything? Could have just let that guy go. All right, so let's try to make some sense of this. Anna Marie Chahari, 33, was sentenced after pleading guilty in January to second-degree murder in 2019 and the death of John Thomas McGuire. That's the boyfriend. Chudhari's sister, which was McGuire's girlfriend, Amanda Naylor McClure, in October 2020, was sentenced to 40 years in prison. All right, so Chahari's sister, different last name, and a different last name than the boyfriend. So the sister's father, okay, Larry McClure, so... Amanda has the same last name as Larry. The sister's father, Larry McClure, all right, so he's got the same last name as Amanda, but not as Anna, so perhaps she's married to someone else. So Larry McClure was sentenced last year to life in prison. So we've got three individuals involved here. We've got Anna Chudhari, who got hit with second-degree murder in 2019. We've got Amanda McClure, who got 40 years in prison in 2020. And then we've got Larry, who got a life sentence in prison. Anna, Amanda, and Larry. And then obviously the victim here, John. McGuire was tied up, that's John, injected with homemade methamphetamine, beaten, tortured, and ultimately strangled. McGuire's body was buried, then dug up, mutilated, dismembered, and reburied. Amanda and her father married in Virginia three weeks after the murder. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Am I losing something here with the last names? I, this, this is going to be a bit much. When you think about the inbred situation, I just scan the photos. I, we're being stereotypical here, but maybe. A North Carolina woman has been sentenced to the maximum of 40 years in prison for murdering her younger sister's boyfriend, okay, so that's Anna, so that the sibling, Amanda, could marry their father as part of a twisted torture and incest plot. Anna Marie Chowdhury of Boone, nice man-made ski resort there, was sentenced on Wednesday in McDowell County Circuit Court for her January guilty plea to second-degree murder in the 2019 death of John Thomas McGuire. The body of McGuire, 38, of Owatonna, Minnesota, was found months later in a grave at the now former residence of Chidhari's father, Larry. Okay, we're, we're working here. Let's get some details. You see what I was talking about? So this is Anna. All right, so here we have Amanda and Larry. So it looks like what happened was when Amanda got married, because I was wrong a little bit earlier in my speculation. It looks like she took on Larry's last name. So her last name would have been Chudhari. Chowdhury. I'm probably butchering that pretty bad, but perhaps she took on his name after the marriage. Hmm. But he's their father. So where's the mother? And this is John McGuire here, the victim in all of this. McGuire's mother, Karen Smith, attended Chowdhury's sentencing hearing remotely and wished her son's three killers a very miserable life. Exactly. According to earlier testimony, Amanda and McGuire, who were in a relationship, were living in Indiana and were having problems with a vehicle. Her father and sister drove there to bring them to West Virginia. All four were using drugs. Chowdhury said at her sentencing that Larry enticed McGuire to play a trust game in which McGuire's feet were tied up. This game of trust was one of the most evil things I'd ever heard of, Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Denny Morgan said. Here's a photo, Amanda and her biological father, 
had got married in Virginia three weeks after her boyfriend's murder, which we learned about. So when John tried to get out of the bindings, Amanda hit him in the head with a wine bottle. The Chowdhury said, Larry testified that McGuire was tortured for three days. During that time, the victim was hogtied and injected with a bad batch of homemade methamphetamine. At one point, he had a black garbage bag placed over his head, and eventually he was strangled by Chowdhury. McClure said, McGuire was buried in a shallow grave, which you heard about, dug up, dismembered, reburied in two different places, they say here. Two weeks after that, Amanda married her father, with her sister Anna acting as the witness. During the hearing in January, Chowdhury recounted the harrowing chain of events that led to McGuire's murder. She said her sister, their dad, and McGuire had been having fun until Amanda suggested the trust game, where she said she would prove she could untie herself from anything. But Amanda tied up John instead. That is when Chowdhury told the judge things started to get strange. They had taken homemade meth, which Chowdhury says did not crystallize properly. What is this? Is this somebody's... After his arrest, Larry McGuire penned his confession note. He will stay in jail without parole for the rest of his life. I just want it over. No trial, no taxpayer's money spent for a trial. It is hard for the state of West Virginia. Oh, so it's West Virginia. Okay, West Virginia, I was saying Virginia. To fight against itself because I plead guilty slash no contest. Thank you for your time on this matter. Larry Paul McClure Sr. Signed it. Once McGuire was tied up, she said their father's demeanor changed. He sat down and I don't know. It was a grin that I'll never be able to describe. But as John sat up, and bent over to untie his feet. And it all happened so quick. But Amanda stood up and grabbed that bottle and bashed him over the back of his head with it. And the next thing I know, John had reared up and was leaning back against the wall, holding his head. And that's when Larry looked at me and told me, if I knew what was best for my children and wanted them to live, I would follow all instructions that were given to me from that moment on, she told the judge. Amanda and her father then proceeded to torture McGuire by beating him and standing on him. They were high on the home-cooked liquid meth and were convinced he was a federal informant and kept demanding to know who he was. McGuire pleaded with them that he was who he said he was. Anna Marie says he even cited his social security number to them repeatedly. At 6 a.m. on February 15th, Chowdhury said his sister told her to inject McGuire with the syringe of what she thought was truth serum, but in fact it was meth. She did, but rather than kill him, the drugs made him stronger. They stood over me and told me I needed to finish it, and I needed to strangle him, so that's what I did, Chowdhury said. Larry then stood on his back while Chowdhury strangled him with a rope. Once he was dead, she said the pair told her to wrap his body in a trash bag for the burial. After McGuire was interred, Chowdhury said her sister and her father started their romantic relationship. But Amanda later became paranoid that McGuire was not actually dead and ordered her sister to dig up his body. To prove that McGuire was really deceased, McClure drove bed nails through his corpse with a sledgehammer. At her sentencing last fall, Amanda apologized to McGuire's mother and begged the court for mercy. I have to look at myself every day, she said. My family didn't raise me to be this way. I've not only hurt John's family, I've hurt my own family. Amanda attempted to offer an explanation for what happened, blaming her father for having a bad influence on her. My dad didn't want anyone else near me, she said. John told Larry that he loved me and we were going to get married. I wish I could bring John back. He was a good man. Larry McClure was originally arrested for failing to register as an offender and later disclosed to West Virginia State Police the location of the body, which was found on September 24, 2019. A breakthrough in the case came on November 4, when McClure wrote a letter to police confessing to the crime and detailing the grisly murder. We saw the confession above. McClure painted his daughter Amanda as the ringleader of the plot who ordered her sister to kill McGuire. He said he does not know her motive for the killing, but alleged she was spending McGuire's monthly social security checks. I cannot tell you why Amanda wanted John dead, he said. I'm asking for this to be over and not wasting the taxpayer's money. We saw the confession. The criminal complaint revealed Larry and his daughter, who was raised by adoptive parents, 
had an incestuous relationship and got married just three weeks after the murder. Doesn't really say anything if the relationship was before the murder. Unless I'm missing something here. That's the strange but true things that do happen from time to time in this country. It's I felt nauseous when I actually understood what I read. I'm not sure if I should read any more after reading the headline. Definitely not. If you've made it this far, you probably are like, Ugh. what did I just read? I needed to read that headline four times until it made sense. That's exactly it. It was a little bit confusing for me as well. This is the saddest thing I've ever read. What was done to these girls to turn out like this? Interesting. Interesting theory there or interesting question posed. Do these girls have some history? Yeah, definitely interesting. It says Amanda was raised by adoptive parents. Interesting if there was some history there. Is there some abuse or is it that bad batch of West Virginia meth? What do we have to say to this? What can we say that nothing, right? You just sit here and shake your head at some people. Granted, with the world having as many billions of people as it has and our country having 350-ish million people, that there's bound to be some defects, bound to be a ton of defects out there. But these stories like this, it's just the things that we joke about but can't imagine actually do happen sometimes. Pretty foul, right? Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Be well. And don't marry your daughter.